for the last time, Whitney and Brittany. Binomials don't have anything to do with buying things. Then they shouldn't have buy in the name. It's a total fake out. Mega unfair. Well, we can talk about the fairness of math another day. Beauty before age. Ms. Amster, Mr. Barish, what can we do for you? Well, well we're, we're here. here oh. <laughs> <laughs> Barish and Amster sitting in a tree. By all means, Ms. Amster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. We're here to promote a joint effort between the Home Ec Department and the History Department. The ultimate outrageous cake competition! Oh my! <laughs> a cake competition? Student teams will battle to build the best historical cake. How about two teachers being all super whack and mega goofy? <laughs> That's pretty historical. Um, he said historical. I thought you were hysterical, Brittany. Thanks, Whitney. Mr. Barish, Miss Amster, is there a prize? There most definitely is. The winning team will get an extra credit in both our classes, which will lift themselves up by half a grade. <gasps> half a grade? Brittany, that would for sure give us, like, one whole grade. Yeah, no way is that hysterical. Oh. You think about all the things that you love to do. Time away from mixed martial arts slash badminton practice for me. And time away from playing video games for me. Besides, I'm already doing pretty well in history and home ec. Pretty well? Don't you want to be doing great? You've got to grab your chance to be great when you get it. Just like Albert Einstein became great when he discovered that theory about his relatives. Just like Christopher Columbus became great when he discovered Columbus, Ohio. We could be that great if we win this cake competition. Cake, cake, cake! 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 Should we even do this cake thing, Whitney? I can't, like, decide. Me either. Hey, let's make two lists. One for the reasons we should do it which we'll call the major list, and one for why we shouldn't, which we'll call the meh list. Then we can compare them. Okay, major, if we win, our grades go up and daddy buys us stuff. That's major with a capital whatever. So, okay, meh, we have to make the cake. Ugh, that seems like work. Ew, major, meh. So, that's one major and one meh. How do we, like, break the tie? Cake, cake, cake! Our next cake, class is cake, actually this cake, way. Cake, 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 cake. Major, we can't let those meth faces win. You're so right, Brittany. And I've just thought of a way we can win without doing any work. Ooh, sounds major. <laughs> Did you guys hear that the Biscuits have entered the cake competition? What? Next thing you know, they'll be attending pep rallies. Yeah. <laughs> Go, fight, win! Or like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's focus, guys. We need to come up with a great cake design that's also historical. Oh, I know. How about a cake celebrating Gertrude Ederly? In 1926, she became the first woman to swim the English Channel. Sue... We're making cake, not soup. Hey, how's this for an idea? The Battle of Gettysburg. One of the saddest days in American history. Sure, Jasper. Because when you think of the Civil War, you think of cake. 
We need to honor the spirit of the contest more literally. Since we're building a cake, maybe the cake should be a building. One that's historically important. Oh, how about one of the seven wonders of the world? The Taj Mahal! Jinx! The Taj Mahal! Score! All right then. Sue, you're in charge of the report on the building and why it's historically important. Jasper, you'll be picking up the ingredients. Blythe, can you get a hold of some good pictures of the Taj Mahal? Pictures are a can-do, Chef Young Me. Let's get to it, everyone. Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! Four, eleven, potatoes! And that makes 70 crush million points! New high score! Yay, me! Hey, what'd everybody skedaddle to? Someone has to try and beat my high score! Hidey ho, game players! Anyone want to play a game? I'll give it a go. What are we playing? A little diddly do that I call butterscotch. Oh yeah, butterscotch, sure. What the heck is that? It's like hopscotch, but also completely not like it at all. Am I doing it right? Yes! No, that was a double flegal. Hopsy hop, lickety like, back for snap spinny. And Zoe wins! Huh? Of course I do. I have no idea what just happened. Buttercream? Are you making these rules up as you go along? Wowzy woo, Russell. I should call you Mr. Smarty Smarty. Let's have a party. What? What? <laughs> Anywho. Yes, it's all right here in my doodle noodle. Right. Um, by any chance, Buttercream, have you seen Blythe lately? Certainly so, Rusty Joe. She was just in Sweet Delights with her pals, having a chattery chat and cooking up a plan. A plan about what? Woo! It was fantastic! They said something about how hysterical cake would fill the halls. Oh, and people in seven worlds will wonder what's going on. Did she just say cake filling the halls? <gasps> Taking over the world? Cake! <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna let Cake take over the world. Good on you, Vinny Beachy Vinny. Of course, I could have gotten everything discombobulated, Loopy. I was butterscotching at the very exact timishness. Sunil, look out! What? Don't take another step or you'll sniggle the beagle! Oh no. Cake, 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 cake. Life, what are you doing? Big cake. Pictures. Build. Huge. Cake, cake, cake. It's happening. Brittany, if we're going to win the ultimate outrageous cake competition, our cake should be chocolate. And like vanilla, Whitney. French vanilla. Unless Spanish vanilla is fancier and more expensive. In which case, get Spanish. And it's got to have red borscht berry filling. We'll let you get to work and see you when the cake's done, Monsieur Le Grande. Girls? Daddy! I've been listening to your little plan. You're not going to win any prize by taking the easy way out and having our chef win it for you. Daddy! Don't daddy me. If you want to win, you're going to have to do it yourselves. Uh, stinkage. Colossal. Wait, Brittany, something is happening in my brain. I think it must be an idea. It is, and it's plan Fantastic. Like, we can't make a cake good enough to win a competition, right, Seth? But we can make sure the other teams, especially life, can't make a cake any better than ours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, team, do we have everything? And I mean everything? Everything but the kitchen sink, young me. Do you think we'll need a kitchen sink? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. We're reporters from the city paper. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We understand you're participating in an ultimate outrageous cake competition. Yeah, and we, like, want to report on it. 
Uh-huh. We have reporter questions. We do? <coughs> I mean, we do. First question. What ingredients are you planning to use? Yeah, and exactly how much of each one? How long are you going to bake your cake? And what do you use to bake it? Boy, your readers sure want to know the basics about cake baking. Yeah, they do. Uh, we're a little rushed right now, but why don't you come to the competition? We'll be happy to answer all your questions after the prizes are awarded. <laughs> that'll be too... Uh, I mean, that'll be after our, like, due time. Deadline? That's not what we newspaperists, journalists, call it, but... <sighs> Whatevs. Gee, Brittany, their recipe! And their cake design! Thanks for everything! And we do mean everything! Takers, takers, bakers, not bakers! Blippity uh, pie! This is super uh, super important! Uh, Hello, Buddy Graham! You're like, hey, hey, hey. Come on! Okay, team, that's everything. To the competition! Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! cake. Ooh! Whoop, whoop. Emergency urgency! A major disaster is about to hamster! In my buttercream to rustle dictionary? I think that means that there's a problem. It's happening! It's happening! What's the emergency, buttercream? Twinsy girls who were twinsy boys swiped Blythe's cake papers, but Blythe and her pal ski daddled before I could tell them about the hub bub bub. Uh huh. Or maybe you thought that's what you saw? Nope, no, Zoe! These eyes saw it in crystal clear buttercream vision! Cake! 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 <laughs> well, Mrs. Twombly, I'm off to Blythe School for her cake competition. Cake! 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 Well, it couldn't hurt to go to the competition to make sure that what Buttercream says she saw isn't what she saw. Well, we better hurry if we want to hit to ride in Mr. Baxter's car. Hey! Wait for me! I'm coming to make sure that cake doesn't get out of line, know what I'm saying? Not, Not really. really. But we don't have time to figure it out. Let's go! Thank you, everyone, for coming. The ultimate outrageous cake competition will begin shortly. Okay, Blythe, can I have the recipe and design cards? Uh, Jasper's got them. Not me. Sue has them. Uh, young me, I thought you. Oh, no! We've got to find them! Cake! 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 Hey, Blythe! What's cooking? <laughs> I guess she is cooking. Uh-huh. Those are the girl boys! They swippity swipe the cards! The biscuit twins? We should have figured. Come on! All right, Cake. I'm on to you. Let's do this thing! Miss <laughs> <laughs> Amster, Mr. Barish, we were wondering if we could maybe have a little more time before we start. Sorry, Blythe. The rules are very specific about start time. Let the competition begin! Oh, my, Mr. Barish. That was so decisive. Ugh. Time to put the pet into this competition. Buttercream, no! If you see any suspicious looking cake, give me a yell. Uh, excuse me guys, have you seen our recipe cards? Whatever. No. no. Excuse me, have you seen our recipe cards? Uh, never mind. Whitney, Brittany, have you seen it? Sorry, we're a little rushed right now, but we'll be happy to answer your questions after the competition's over and the prizes have been handed out. We've got to do something to distract everyone from spotting buttercream. Russell, I've got an idea for how we can help Buttercream. What kind of an idea? A brilliant one. Of course. <sighs> Brittany, do we have anything called flur... It's 
flower? Uh, I think there's some, like, under the table. like that stuff they put in cinnamon flavored lip gloss. Hey! Ah! <laughs> well, that's the unique way to bake a cake. <laughs> <laughs> like, OMG, who let the egg dropping birds in here? Ugh, shake your head over the bowl wet. We need some cinnamon. Stand back, Rabina! <laughs> I mean, Ms. Amster. I won't let any dive bombing chickens hurt you. Ooh, Bob. I mean, Mr. Barish. <laughs> oh, we really shouldn't be having so much fun. Yeah, this is all about helping Blythe. This is too weird. Blythe, less ceiling watching, more searching for our recipe cards. Uh-oh, company's coming. I'd say our work here is done anyway. Allie ho! Master Barish, do you see anything? Nothing up here, but if I look down, I can see the top of your head. Your hair looks spectacular. <laughs> Is this flower stuff supposed to be all, like, uh, clumpy? I don't know. Let's get the electric mixer thingy and mix out all the lumps. <laughs> What are you doing here? <gasps> you guys, our Taj Mahal sketch! Awesome! Did you find our recipe too? Unfortunately, no. Well, hope my memory's good. Come on, let's get to it. Blythe, we're out of milk. Can you get some from the extra supplies? I'm on it. Buttercream, you beautiful bunny. Where did you come from? Well, I was born in a box and then I moved. St Why? I should have known. Let me guess. You snuck a ride here with my dad? Buttercream told us about those terrible biscuit girls stealing your cards, and we just had to help. The biscuits did that, huh? Look, I've got to get back. I'll come get you after the competition, but for now, just stay here. <coughs> Brittany, tell me you found Blythe's recipe card. Like... Okay, I found Blythe's recipe card. You did? No, but you told me to tell you that. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Run away? Everyone would, like, see us. Besides, I think we really need that extra half grade. That means there's only one thing we can do. Ugh, our best. best. Ew. <laughs> oh, cake. Alamo. Mmm, mmm. The Eiffel Tower was so magnifique. But we'll always remember the Alamo. Kick. <laughs> Hold, Hold on, on. you've got, got some. some... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, we present to you the Taj Mahal. Oh. Why aren't these cakes trying to take over the world or something? It's almost criminal to take a bite of this magnificent creation. Well, arrest me then, because we must. Oh, Mr. Barish. <laughs> mm. 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 A triumph. Mm. Delectable. <laughs> sure, it tastes good. But maybe that's what it wants you to think. Team Young Me, you've set the bar high, but there's still one team left. Oh, our cake is way superior to theirs, right, Brittany? Oh, way to its mega superior, Whitney. Be like Paul, our superior awesome historical cakeness. <laughs> what the yikes? <gasps> <gasps> we know.
know, right? There's never been anyone like us, so it's so, like, historical. The hair is flavored frosting, the clothes are gourmet chocolate, and the teeth are lime jelly beans. <laughs> oh, and BT Dub, the filling is red borscht berry. No cake's gonna take over the world on my watch! Ah! Come back with my head, you rodent! The judges haven't tasted it yet! That's okay, Britt. They know a winning cake when they, like, see it. That's true, Whitney. And the winner is Team Young Me! Whoopsie yeah. doodle doodle lookers, they're playing butterscotch, and the ace is McKay's set it to boot! Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! Cake, cake, cake! Good job, girls. Uh, Dad, didn't you see them just win? Meaning we, like, didn't. That's true. But at least you gave it your best. Barf. Ew. Here you go, everyone. Thanks for helping me out today. You're welcome, darling. <clears throat> Vinny, don't you want some cake? Uh, no thanks, you already have some. If you can't beat them, eat them! <laughs> 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 <laughs>